Good morning, my precious people. I love you. It is, let's see, Thursday morning, 4.23 in the morning. I am all ready for work. But before I leave out for work, I want to read to us out of Joyce Meyer's book. And this chapter is serve others through prayer so let's begin praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints Ephesians 6 18 one of the great temptations we often face when we have been wounded is to think too much about ourselves. We may focus excessively on our pain, on what happened to us, or on what will happen in the future. One of the best things we can do for ourselves is to get our minds off ourselves and to think about what we can do for others. We may not have extra resources to bless them in physical ways, but we can always pray for them. Pray for them. And that's called interceding. It doesn't take any money. It doesn't require us to travel to get to them. It doesn't demand anything of us except a will and heart and some time. When we are hurting, we often see everything in life through a lens of pain. When that happens, we may find ourselves being hard on people instead of being gracious and showing kindness. But judging or criticizing others only holds us in bondage. If we pray for people instead of judging them, interceding for them as frequently and fervently as we pray for our own needs we will not only be a blessing in their lives we will also experience the joy of serving others in the days of the prophet ezekiel god was looking for people who would stand in the gap for others. Ezekiel 22:30. I pray he is I pray he is still looking for that kind of intercessor today. If there is a gap or a distance in people's relationship with God for some reason, we have the privilege of praying that their revelation with him will be restored. If people have needs, we can intercede for them and expect to see them confronted and encouraged while they wait for God to provide for them. A life focused only on self is a sad, lonely, narrow existence. When we reach out to others and include them in our lives, even in such a simple way as praying for them, we enrich ourselves and reach beyond our own little world. We begin to care about them in new ways. We begin to share their concerns and burdens, and somehow our concerns and burdens seem lighter. We rejoice when God answers our, our prayers for them, we grow in our faith as we trust God to move in their lives. And soon we realize we have more faith for Him to move in our lives too. These are many benefits to serving others through prayer, both for the ones we intercede for and for us. Praying for people strengthens our relationship with God and our relationships with them which is good and healthy for everyone. Declare this, I will not think only of myself. 
I will think also of others and begin to serve them through prayer. Yeah. Just a little time, a few moments to pray for someone can go a long way. It also, like Joyce said, it takes the moment, the spotlight off of you. And you're interceding for somebody else that don't know how to pray perhaps for themselves or refuses to pray for themselves or who has thrown their hands up in the air and says, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, whatever it may be. You can take a few minutes out of your day and pray for that person. And I have one right now I need to pray for. Oh yeah. I'll just put it out there. It's my brother and his wife. They're going through some stuff right now. And, yeah, so they definitely need prayer. There's a whole lot of us that are hurting and need prayer. And, uh, but if we all pray for one another, we are actually stepping up to the plate and doing something about it. Prayer can go a long way. And it's so positive. So, I'm going to continue to get ready for work. Today is considered my Monday. And you all have a beautiful day. A beautiful, prosperous day. Good health, everything. And remember... Pray for someone today. It could do a world of good down the road. So if God puts anyone on your heart today, just say a kind word for that person. And know that someone has prayed for you before. Love you. <clears throat> Love you, and I will be talking to you later, okay? Bye.